Yo, what's good, everybody? In today's video, I'm teaching guys how to actually boost your FPS and fix frame drops in Chapter 4. We're going to post the OSR still. Please, guys, tell if you guys are new. We're trying to hit 3,000 subs by the end of the year, and I appreciate every single person that has subs to the channel. If you guys want to support me even more, it is by using code KDOG in the item shop. It's best to support me or let's tell me how a lot of you guys think. Without further ado, though, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so I'm going to start off with just some basic tips, and then we're going to get into some medium tips, some advanced tips, and some PC tips for all pretty much i'm gonna be helping out everyone in today's video i'm gonna be going over like literally everything so if you know nothing about boosting your fps or fixing frame drops just watch this whole video all the way through and you will guarantee you learn something new so starting off with um starting off with just the basics is obviously if you are in a ps4 or like some older graphics card or something like that and if you are able to upgrade then make sure that you do upgrade to either a ps5 or the new xbox or whatever the newest graphics card is like the rtx 3800 or whatever the newest one is for those graphics cards just make sure that you guys are doing that to make sure you guys stay fully updated because there is a lot of new stuff that fortnite is going to be adding with like unreal engine 5 and everything that if you are on a older console or older graphics card it is going to be pretty difficult so for us this video now i'm basically going to be telling you guys tips on if you are on one of those older things or even if you're on one of the newer things how you can still be able to increase your performance the best way possible so starting off with is obviously the basic one turning off all the replays i know you guys might need replays in case you're like playing scrims or something but if you need it for that then maybe just keep the replays on for scrims and then when you're just playing like regular games just turn off the replays completely because it basically requires you to actually have to like record every single one of your games so it's just an extra thing that fortnite has to do that can lead to your game being more laggy and things like that another thing like kind of on the same topic of this is if you're on a console like myself then basically um deleting other games and stuff that you don't play can also help as well especially if you're on a ps4 or an old gen console um deleting games that you don't play and just freeing up space on your console in general is a better way to make sure that fortnite has more space basically so it's able to like render in everything and it'll also so make sure that your performance gets boosted and it is faster so say you have like some old games that you don't really play anymore they're just sitting on your downloads and your actual playstation or your xbox whichever one you play maybe just delete them and see if you can tell the difference in your performance on your playstation next is obviously your internet if your internet is bad you're going to have a lot of um fps and frame drop issues as well because you're just going to be lagging everywhere so if you are able to then obviously make sure that you do get an ethernet cable but if you're not able to get an ethernet cable like myself I have a Wi-Fi extender and then I also just have like the best Wi-Fi that's available in my area. Once you get the best internet available in your area, there's really nothing else you can do about your internet if it is bad. So now um, some things that will actually help you get some better um, FPS and that will boost your FPS is by using skins that are in pickaxes that are not reactive. Um, an example of this I'll put up on the screen, it is the Laura Croft skin with the shovel axe and just things that basically don't shine or like have any... Um, flashing lights on them or anything like that just very simple basic skins and even like the one that's in the background video right here with like the recon expert and that sort of stuff this is a really good no delay skin right here and if you're on a older console or on a maybe slower pc this can help you guys out a lot and then finally i'm actually going to be linking you guys to a different video it is a video made by ozzy antics it is a really good explanation video and it shows like in depth on everything for pc on how you can actually get like max fps and max graphics by going on like super super low settings i don't have a pc so i can't really show you guys this to my the best of my ability so i'm gonna leave ozzy antics link video in the description down below so you guys can go check out that video if you guys just want some tips for pc but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please subscribe to the channel if you guys are new you just go get on the item shop and i'll catch you guys next time peace out